Hi, my name's Avalash, and what you saw earlier was your first glimpse of my device, the NSR transfer. USB drives, flash drives, pen drives, whatever you want to call them, over the last few years, they've become an incredibly popular method of carrying around data. This has been due to various reasons. They're small, cheap, and can hold incredible amounts of data, but most importantly, their plug-and-play feature makes them very attractive. But there's still one problem that's left. What if you want to give some files to a friend? It's irritating trying to find a computer to use, and for most students like me, we often have to take the flash drives home and get whatever data we need there, as there are no computers for us to use at school. For my client, this just got too irritating, and I set out to solve this problem and came up with the NSR transfer, a really handy device. It features a 3.5 inch color LCD screen with a touchscreen which displays all the files and allows me to select whatever I want to transfer. Each flash drive is controlled using a VDIP1 module which handles the USB communications and which gives me the data over the serial UART interface shown here and here. To communicate to both of these I have an Atmel 18Mega64 microcontroller. The code to run this LCD is from a microchip library but it was converted to the basic language so that I could program my AVR. The code was converted to basic by Ethan Oldale, my classmate, Mr. Collis, my teacher, and myself. It proved to be very difficult because of the long complex routines and timing and signal issues. The code from the microchip library only initializes the LCD. All the routines which actually display things on the LCD are done by myself. To make the routines more efficient, I cut out as much as I can and kept displaying things on the LCD to a minimum, as it was slow writing to the LCD. Also, things like my TrueType font requires less processing and would display faster than traditional fonts I use. The VDIPs proved to be difficult to use due to the unknown amount of data to expect. In the end, I managed to make routines which work quickly and get all the required data. Also, things like size and portability were considered. The board runs off three AA batteries and has circuitry which allows it to work off rechargeable phone batteries. The circuit contains small surface mount dip components to keep the size as small as possible and also uses energy efficient components like FETs instead of bulky power hungry relays. The result is this, the NSR transfer. So now I will demonstrate the NSR transfer working. On the screen you can see the contents of a USB drive. All the folders just contain typical files as you'd normally expect to find on a USB drive. And now um, I will insert that USB drive into the device. Um, as you can see there's already a USB drive that's been inserted into it and that's the USB drive which is going to send data into this red USB drive. So now the um, USB drive's been inserted into the NSR transfer, I'll turn it on. The directory of the green flash drive is displayed and we can select whatever files we want to send. For example, we can select that, that, and maybe that down there, and then press send. Now the directory of the red flash drive comes up and we can select whatever folder we want to put the files in or we can drop, drop it into the root folder. So I'll go into the folder called school. So you double touch it and the directory loads. And as you can see it's empty so I'll put it in there. OK. The file's been sent. So we'll take the USB drive out and stick it into the computer, see what happened. So USB drive, stick it into the computer, so open. Alright, we saved it in a folder called school, so school, and there, the three documents have been put inside here. So the first text file, yep. Second text file, yep and the picture. So there we go, the NSR transfer actually works. There are some things I would like to improve, such as the speed of the microcontroller and the transfer speed, both of which can be done. Also, I'm going to build a case for the circuitry so that it isn't exposed. Overall, the NSR transfer is a great product for when you're on the go, 
as it is compact and very quick to use. Thank you for watching this video and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day.